This morning, I really was run ragged. There was uh, a couple bucks, actually initially it was one buck that we found and followed him through a field. And just, you know, you're following him along. You don't know what kind of shots you're gonna end up with. And he was just moving quickly. We figured that he was going after some does. So following along with him eventually led us through uh, to an area where there were several bucks. And it was interesting because they were kind of content to be near each other. There were does and everybody was just kind of hanging out and no one was really fighting or anything like that. Although I did hear a fight later on. But this buck uh, led us to these other bucks. And what happened was just incredible. They went into an open field, kind of one by one. At one time, there were two there together. And it was a beautiful sky this morning. And as I was down low on this hill and they were making their way to the ridge, I instantly thought, this is the chance. This is my chance to get a silhouette shot with a nice, colorful sky. Something that I've been after for a really, really long time. So I changed my settings and I had a few fleeting moments where the buck posed in a way that would be pleasing and I was able to get some silhouette shots that I'm really happy with. So in this video, what I wanted to do was talk a little bit about those settings that I used to get those silhouette shots. So my camera setup was that I was in manual mode with auto ISO. Now with auto ISO, I was able to control my exposure compensation. So I dipped that exposure compensation down and it varied between a third of a stop and a full stop in order to achieve the dark look that I was looking for. Now, I also bumped up my shutter speed a little bit to allow less light to hit the sensor. But the idea here is to make sure that we're exposing for the sky and making the subject in the foreground as dark as possible to create that silhouette. So what my settings ended up being for this shot was 1 640th of a second shutter speed, f7.1, and ISO 400. So the scenario was pretty fluid. There were multiple deer in this field. They were in front of the sun. They were behind the sun. They were on the ridge, in front of the sky, below the ridge. And it seemed like, you know, we were just constantly, constantly moving. As I moved my camera and as I moved myself, my settings were in fluctuation depending on the scenario that I found myself in. But to get that silhouette, my shutter speed had to be a little bit high and my ISO low in order to let in the least amount of light. And the other way to do that would have been to ramp up that f-stop to actually a smaller diameter. As the f-stop number goes up, the diameter of your lens actually gets smaller. So by maybe going to f-16, it would have let in less light and also allowed more focus of the entire scene rather than just that subject. I will say though, however, probably using f7.1 rather than something like f16 allowed me to have sharper lines right on that specific subject. So that's something to consider too. But with those other two settings, the shutter speed and the ISO, I was able to limit the amount of light just with those settings to create the silhouette shot. So maybe another scenario where it was thinking outside of the box a little bit and not exposing just for the subject. There was a buck that I had been following for a little while and I knew that he was going to cross across an open area and I was facing directly into the morning sun. So it was low and it was directly right at us. And I knew that if I went a little bit darker, I would be able to get some rim light. And if he would breathe, I'd be able to get that breath as the light was going through it. Now he was going to be dark, 
but that was the only way to get that breath. So as he came across, that's what I did. I lowered my settings once again, and as he let out a little huff, you can see in this shot the breath that I was able to capture. It was an awesome morning of following several bucks and having the opportunity to maybe think outside of the box a little bit and not expose just for the subject, but to think about the bigger scenario and the opportunities that I had with the light that was available. Now I did get some standard shots too, you might call them, and I'll run through them here for you. Enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.